did you saw, we did a bit of four wheel driving, got on the barge and here we are at the beautiful Fraser Island. It's one of the biggest islands off Australia and what we're going to be doing is a bit of shark fishing. Now a fellow YouTuber and angler in Team Mad Mullet invited me out here and asked me if I wanted to catch some big sharks and since my personal best shark is 81 centimeters at the moment I was like hell yeah I'd love to catch some big ones. Now what Team Mad Mullet do is they catch, tag, take blood samples and release these sharks and I think that's going to be pretty cool to film. I got my drone for it so hopefully I can get some cool shots of that as well and what we're going to be doing is catching some monster sharks this weekend. Now off this island there's bull sharks, hammerheads, tiger sharks, lemon sharks, dusky whalers, there's heaps of sharks that live off here. Now we got some big bait so hopefully we can catch some big fish this weekend and hopefully I can upgrade from 80 centimeters which is my personal best. So we're going to set up camp, in a few hours we'll chuck out the baits so let's get into it. Alright, so this is the first bait that we're using. Nice big stingray. Kurt's just bringing the boat out at the moment. We'll probably drop it out about 300 meters or so. And hopefully a big shark takes it. I'll show you a few of the other baits that we're using. So the next bait that we're going to be using, big Mac tuna head, you can see that. Hopefully a big shark takes that. That's a 20 yard hook right there made by Team Mad Mullet. They make their own hooks, which is pretty cool. And hopefully it's gonna catch a big shark too. It'd be cool to double up. So as you can see, this one's just hooked through the mouth there and zip tied on so it doesn't come loose. This is a very big hook. It's a circle hook, 20 o circle hook. And you can see that. That's just some heavy duty gear right there. And we're gonna drop it out once again, 300 meters. We're gonna drop out about five rods. I'll show you the next one and then not the other two, but yeah. Take a look at that, one big bait right there. All right, so the next bait that we've got is a big long fin eel. This is just massive right here, and we're gonna chuck it out as a whole bait, so hopefully it can produce maybe a big bull shark or something. All right, so that's all the baits that we're gonna be using. We've got a few more rods, but they're the three main baits that we use, stingray, eel, and mac tuna, so hopefully we can catch some big sharks. This is the first time I've been targeting big sharks, so I'm really excited for the trip. But yeah, take a look at this. It's a beautiful day. Hopefully, tonight we'll produce a big shot. As the sun set at Fraser Island, the baits were out, rods were set up, and for a few hours, everything was dead quiet. That was until... We've hooked up to a shark. It's been a fair few hours setting the lines. It's 12 a.m. at the moment. And... We hooked up something on that big stingray that I showed you earlier. So that there's a 130 pound line, and you're running approximately 15 kilos of drag. Definitely a big broom. That's like what my tiger. Oh, there's another rug going off. Oh, it is too. Go it. So, at the moment, we've double hooked up. Um, he actually hasn't hooked up yet, but there's another shark pulling out line. I'm really hoping we can land this shark. We've had five runs so far tonight. One hook up, it was a lemon shark, and it got off. So, I'm really hoping. We can land this. Still taking that line. I'm calling either tiger or bull. Yeah? Probably a tiger, I reckon. Hopefully. Tiger would be good, wouldn't yeah. it? Just by the way it's fine, it's very lazy. <laughs> That's always promising to hear. <laughs> Bulls are... It's the biggest one so far. There goes another hundred meters. <laughs> at, at this stage, when it's it's trying to run, best thing you can do is just keep weight. And as soon as you feel that pressure come off, then get back into it. I'm getting a sore back holding this camera. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How's it going? Pretty tired. <laughs> I just can't wait to see it. Yeah. Shoot me, it's a nice dog. Oh, 
I'll go and get it. So the reason Team Mad Muller go on this fishing trip every year is to tag big sharks. So what we did here is we made a small incision behind the dorsal fin, put the tag in, and then we were good to go. Right. Ten foot four. Yep, okay. Is that next one like this? Just right behind here? Yeah. Yep. As soon as I got close to this tiger shark, I realised how massive and beautiful it really was. When Kurt and I both lifted up that tail, I just remember everything went in slow motion for a few seconds. But as quick as it all started, it finished, and I swam off with this 10 foot 4 beast of a tiger shark. <laughs> First tiger shark ever went 10 4. I'm absolutely stuffed. My arms and legs are knackered, but it was so worth it. That fish is just, it's just amazing. Just wanted to say thanks to Kurt from Team Mad Mullet. Without him, I wouldn't be able to catch this shark right now. So make sure you go check out their YouTube channel, Team Mad Mullet. And yeah, just check out this, these, these awesome videos. <laughs> what I'm trying to say, I'm like speechless right now. That's what we're about, mate. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Too easy. So there it is, my part one of my two-part Fraser trip. I really hope you enjoyed it. It was the best fishing trip I've ever done. Managed to catch quite a few nice sharks. I just posted one shark in this video, as you just saw, my 10 foot 4 tiger. But through the next couple days, there was a lot of different sharks caught, which was awesome. And you will see that in part two. Make sure you go check out Team Mad Muller on YouTube. They're going to be making their own video of this kind of thing. So if you want to see their version of it and their other videos, they've also got mud crab catching cooks, shark catching cooks, and heaps of other stuff so I'll leave the link in the description if you want to go check out their channel also before I go I wanted to say a special thanks to Moe the song at the start of the video was Skyline which is one of my favorite songs and they actually let me use it in this video which was awesome it's cool being able to use one of your favorite songs and edit it in one of your own videos so shout out to Moe if you want to go purchase that song or listen to it I'll leave a link down in the description make sure you leave a like on this video if you want to see the next one coming out pretty soon hit that big red button down there subscribe so you can be the first people to actually see See part two when it comes out. It will be very cool, hopefully. But until then, here's a snippet of part two.